All right, I'm in uh, Monday's qualifying round in the rookie division in the Coast to Coast Tournament. I'm on hole number five, just checking up here at the top in the qualifying round just to see kind of where everybody's at. And we've got a minus 12 going up here at the top, minus 11, minus 10, minus 10, minus 9, minus 9, minus 9, minus 8. Is that right? Is that? No, that can't be right. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, so that's a minus 10. So some minus 11s. Where would this put down? Six. That'd be two, three, four. So that'd be minus 12. So we got some minus 12s. We got a minus 13 going up here at the top. Nice 14. Is that right? Nine, 10, 11, 12. So we got, a, we got some people up here shooting 11s, 12s. I think the minimum score should be minus 11. So we're on track for the minus 12. Haven't done anything spectacular. Haven't uh, dropped any shot. It what it takes is you got to hit perfect going into the cup, and I I don't think I've hit a single shot into the cup perfect today so far. Luckily, we're not seventeen holes into it. We're only four. All right, hole number five. Let's go to Golf Clash Notebook and check out hole number five. If you guys are watching, if you guys if, if you only watched my videos for the last couple of tournaments, you're like, dude, do you ever hit perfect? <laughs> Um, I do. I just haven't lately, which is a problem. But I still end up, I still, my goal, my whole goal, for those of you that are watching, my whole goal is to help you guys become top 10 players. And that the difference between a top 10 player and somebody who's winning banners is hitting perfect shots going into the cup and making, making perfect wind adjustments. And so if I can help you get into the top 10 where you're a top 10 player week in and week out, you, then you're going to get some wins. You're going to get wins. It's just a matter of, it's just a matter of time. You're going to catch that weekend where you're on fire and things are just dropping. And, and I'm, that's where I'm at. And I'm, I'm, I consider myself to be a top 10 player. You won't get wins unless you're a consistent top 10 player. You may jump up and have a weekend where you're just awesome and you did the thing. But typically when you look at people's banners, um, you start seeing people that have a lot of top tens. Those people are on the cusp of getting a win. They're going to get a win because by being in the top 10 week in and week out, you're really putting yourself in the right spot. And the deal is, is you don't have to hit. You can, you can not hit really good. You just have to be consistent and not get yourself into trouble and not getting a rough and not being able to get, get the minimum score. The minimum score will typically in most brackets, especially in rookie will get you, you know, a 15th place just depending on your bracket. And my dog is trying to chew my arm off. I have no idea how I'm playing this hole. I'm doing, I'm gonna, I'm coming at this hole. I have no idea. I'm just shooting some shots on this and seeing, uh, I'm just, I'm almost winging it. What I really feel like doing is just backspinning that sucker so close to the hole, it, it rolls down the hill about a mile. I'm going to bring my Saturn. I could bring a Grim Reaper. You don't need a big ball here. Hey, hey, quit tearing up my ankle. You little ankle biter. You got a room full of toys and you got to come over here and bite my ankle while I'm playing golf. What's your problem, dude? What's your, what's your general malfunction? Hey. <laughs> Dang dog. Got a puppy. He's teething. And he wants to use my ankle as a chewy. All right, I go first. Let's see what we can do here. I'm going to try. Let's do max backspin. I'm going to I'm going to do max backspin. And I'm going to get up into this area right here. So there's one. That's the line that it's on. There's two and there's three. I'm going to come right up there where that spot hits the right in that corner. I'm going to take the wind out. Plus 10%. That's as close as I can get. So it's going to be 3-3. Three, three. So it's a little over a ring and a half. Let's see if we can get it to drop down into the cup. Hitting it perfect. Wow, I can hit a shot perfect. Look at that. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's 
so that was starting off right there in that corner. So from where I came down, I'm going to, I'll try it next time and I'll go halfway. We'll see where it drops. We'll see where it drops at. I'll keep moving that around and see what I can get done with it. I know that I've taken the shot from down here in this bowl, trying to be right there in the bottom of that bowl, trying to come up. Um, there's this, this green doesn't have anything flat on it. So the deal is, is that if you set it up and you hit it perfect, you may end up where you want to go. But if you hit it great to the left or the right, because nothing's flat, it's going to, your trajectory is going to be off. And it's one of those things where if you hit it great to the left, because of the way that you hit it on that hill, it's going to go to the right. If you hit it great on the right, it's going to go to the left. So it's one of those types of holes because there's nothing flat. Now tell me my opponent my opponent did not is not practicing today and just just disconnected. You know, I mean I practice on Mondays and I'm always extremely respectful of my opponents. I never interfere with their shots. I never help them or hurt them as far as forfeiting. I always wait until they've got what they were going to get and I don't, uh, I'm very respectful of people when I do that stuff because they're playing and you don't want to ruin their round. You always give them their shot. They worked for it. They paid to play. And always being respectful of my opponents. And this is, I'm, I, I will hope that they just disconnected and they didn't go, eh, I got my drive shot. I'm done. Yeah, I took that drive shot. Because that's very disrespectful. But most of the people, there's a ton of people in this game that have no... They don't have any etiquette, never played real golf, never played any sports where they have, they've learned the sports etiquette. So I wouldn't be surprised if they just went, yeah, I got my drive. I didn't like that. I see how it goes. All right. That was hole number five. I mean, never get upset when they forfeit and they give you cash. But when they time out like that, it does feel like they just closed their device and went, eh, I got my drive. Let them sit there and wait. <laughs> All right, that was hole number five of the Coast to Coast Tournament and Monday's qualifying round in the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.